This is the brand new FootJoy Fuel spikeless golf shoe and it retails in the UK for £135. Now it's the latest range of shoes from FootJoy and it has an athletic design that focuses on on-course performance. So in this video today, I'm gonna to give you my full honest review. I'm gonna tell you how they fit, how they feel, how waterproof they are, and how they performed out on the golf course. In the past, I've not been the biggest fan of FootJoy's attempts at making an athletic style golf shoe, but I've got to admit that I think they've actually done a really good job with the new fuel. I actually like this kind of running shoe style and it legitimately, I think, looks pretty good. It's quite minimalistic in this white and gray colorway here. So you've got a pretty kind of plain material upper here. You've got some dots on the front of it imprinted into the shoe. And then you've got a different texture material at the back of the shoe there with this big FootJoy logo. You've got a little bit of color there on the laces as well. But other than that, it is quite a muted style design. There are other color options that you can go with if you wish. And also there is a boa version too. The upper is made of a synthetic material. It's not a leather upper, which is a bit of a departure for FootJoy, but I didn't have any problems with it out on the course. And personally, that doesn't really bother me too much. It still has its full waterproof warranty from FootJoy. And as you can see here, when I poured 300 milliliters of water over this upper and the tongue area, a little bit did get through at the top of the upper when I poured it really high, but there was a good amount of water going over the bottom of that tongue area there and no water got through. So you are getting a nice and waterproof shoe with these. FootJoy using a Strata light foam. So previously in other shoes, such as the Stratus, as well as the Hyperflex, FootJoy have used a Strata foam, which is a softer, springier foam. So they've got this Strata light foam to reduce the weight of the shoe. And I've got to admit, it does feel really lightweight in hand. In terms of the fit of these shoes, I would say it's quite sporty and just kind of feels like a pair of trainers as well. There's enough room in this toe box area, so I didn't really feel any rubbing on the sides even though I went down half a size with these shoes. Personally, I find FootJoy can come up a little bit big. So for me, going down half a size, these still fit really, really well. One thing you'll notice is that there isn't particularly a huge amount of foam and cushioning on the heel and ankle area there. It is quite thinly done. Now for me, out on the course, walking 18 holes, I didn't have any problems with these. I didn't give me any blisters and they were perfectly comfortable. But it's just something to be aware of that it's not necessarily the softest feeling shoe going. They're perfectly comfortable, but you're not gonna get massive amounts of plush comfort in that area there. The same goes for underfoot as well. The Strata Light Foam gives you an okay amount of softness underfoot, but it's not the softest. FootJoy's own Strata Foam is significantly softer than this. And if you're used to things like an Adidas Boost or a Nike React Foam, then this is gonna feel a little bit firmer. Now, I think one of the reasons why FootJoy have got a firmer foam in this shoe is because they want it to be a performance golf shoe. This isn't necessarily a pair of shoes that you're gonna wear out and about every day to the shops that you can also play golf in. This is designed for golf first and then kind of the looks and the design and the style have come second. I think that's the case anyway, that's my take on this shoe. And I've got to say, in terms of the actual performance out on the golf course, I was really quite impressed with this shoe. I really did enjoy using it. You can see that I did put it through quite a vigorous test and used it in pretty damp conditions. It is still January here in the UK, and that's not the most ideal conditions for a pair of spikeless golf shoes. However, I didn't slip once in these shoes. They held up really, really well for me. Now that's not a promise to say that you will never ever slip in these shoes because in my opinion, I think you're always gonna get better performance and stability and grip out of a pair of spikes golf shoes than you will spikeless. Would I use them on the wettest of wet days? Probably not. I'd still want the comfort and security of having the extra grip from a pair of spiked golf shoes. But for the vast majority of conditions, I think these are gonna actually be absolutely fine. So you can see here that you've got these combination of nubs on the bottom of the shoe, and they are the exact same design compared to a pair of FootJoy Pro SLs. Here we go, I've got a pair of Pro SL carbons right here. Now you can see that the Pro SL has got this kind of figure of eight pattern there. That was a really bad figure of eight, wasn't it? It's got this figure of eight pattern there on the outsole. So the fuel hasn't got that fully, but it has got a really, really good amount of grip. And you can definitely see the inspiration taken from the Pro SL. I'd say another area where the fuel has taken inspiration is in that kind of four foot area. Cause you can see that actually, even though it is quite a sporty, slim fit, the fuel has got a very kind of splayed out base here at the bottom. 
I kind of show you that way there, they are really trying to kind of maximize the amount of that outsole that is in contact with the ground right across this four foot area. And again, that means that you're getting a good amount of stability in these shoes. They do look like a pair of running trainers, but these perform so much better than a pair of running trainers when you're out on the golf course. You can see on the bottom as well, you've got this orange section here, and that's what FootJoy are calling the stability bridge. And again, that is to ensure that you've got a decent amount of resistance there and structure to the shoe. So it's not twisting and turning too much in the golf swing. And it's allowing you to put as much force into your swing through the ground as possible. The only slight concern I've got with the FootJoy Fuel is that I haven't been able to give it a full long-term test yet. So I can't really speak for how this synthetic upper is gonna hold up as well as this thinner material on the liner there and the padding on the ankle and the heel. I hope they're gonna hold up fine, but just because they're such a lightweight shoe, I just have a slight little doubt in the back of my mind. Only time will tell on that one. We'll just have to see how that pans out. For now, I've gotta say that if you are looking for a lightweight athletic spikeless golf shoe that is nice and comfortable to walk 18 holes in out on the course, then I think you've really got to consider the FootJoy Fuel. I think FootJoy have done a really, really good job with this shoe. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I have included my affiliate links down in the description below. And if you're still not sure what spikeless golf shoes are for you at the moment, then why not check out my top five of last year?